Hello and welcome back. This is video number seven, and we're going to pick off where we left off. And this is basically the purchase funnel. And like I said, the main difference is that this is a little bit more complex. The abandoned cart is kind of the first step. All right. So with a purchase funnel, it's basically, it could be e-commerce store. It could be a sales page for whatever reason. It could be whatever you want. You're just selling something. So they land on this initial page, which we talked about the view content, and then they get to sent to the add to cart. If they, you know, land on the add to cart, but they don't land on the purchase page, then we can create a custom audience. Like I said, if there's no option to embed the Facebook pixel onto the order form, you, there's a workaround by using click meter. So I'm going to put clickmeter.com just to clarify that a little bit. There we go. So what happens after the purchase? Well, many of you, depending on what you're selling, you could upsell them. You could offer a one-time offer. So you want to be able to track all of that. So we could say purchase and we'll call this maybe the front end purchase. And for the sake of the standard event, we're just going to list it as purchase, the initial purchase. All right. So the next thing we have is the, the one time offer. All right. Or the upsell, the same thing. So we're going to do one time offer. Now, bear in mind, I briefly went over this, but basically with Facebook pixels, when it comes to the standard event, you can use what Facebook gives you, but you can also use your own keyword, but you just need to make sure that you know what that keyword is. All right. So we could name it OTO one. And if you have several funnels, you might want to name it something related to that funnel. But for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to say OTO one, and I'm going to bold that so that you know, that's a standard event. So we could do that. And maybe we want to figure out, okay, how many people purchase the front end offer, but they don't purchase the one time offer. So if they made a purchase of the front end offer, which is the offer that they're aware of, the one time offer is basically an offer that they are not aware of, but it's a really good deal that they're going to want to take up upon because they're going to save a lot of money. So this is the one time offer and you can add one time offer two, one time offer three, and you can get more complex with that. But basically let's say we want to figure out who purchased both, whereas who purchased one or the other. So everyone who's at this point is going to purchase the front end purchase. So what we want to do here is we want to create a custom audience. So let me scroll over here so that you can see it better. So we want to create a custom audience and say, whoever purchased this, but did not purchase this, let's put them in a custom audience. All right. And we can also say anybody who has purchased this and this, put them into a custom audience. Now, how do we do that? Well, we can do that with the pixel code by naming it the standard event purchase and then OTO one. So what we want to do here is we can create a custom audience. So they land on the purchase page. Now, basically what we, what you want to do is you want to get the URL and you want to put that into the custom audience. So they land on the purchase page, but do not land on one time offer one. So in that case, basically they purchased the front end offer, but they haven't purchased the one time offer for whatever reason. So we could put that into a custom audience and then we can thereby do a retargeting campaign and retarget them for this offer. Or we can also make a different custom audience. 
And this is a really good way to kind of segment your high premium customers or the ones that buy pretty much everything in your funnel versus the people who have not. So you could advertise something like premium material to this specific audience here. So for this one, they landed on both the purchase front end and the OTO one. So I'm just showing you kind of a secret here of figuring out who your premium buyers are, because if they purchase this one and this one, it's a very high chance that they're, they trust you and they want more from you and they're willing to buy more from you in the future. So these could be kind of your specialists where you give them a discount or this one too. So basically this is a way to create custom audiences. So that's the purchase funnel event. And that's what you need to do to track every step of the way. So as a recap quickly, we got the first view content page. We have the add to cart page. We have the purchase page, and then we have the one time offer page. And then if you want to get all fancy and you want to create the custom audiences, you can, but you basically take this and you want to add the pixel code to the header, which is what we talked about in video number five. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the next video.